If you live in the United States, your weather is provided to you in degrees Fahrenheit, so you do not need to do the conversion. Here's where you'll find the past extreme minimum data in the United States. First, go to the website weather.gov. Once you get to this website, click on the button over on the right hand side that says past weather. Once you get to this web page, choose the respective state that has your data. Then hit the now data button. Then choose the location closest to your particular site. I'm going to choose Great Falls International. After this, choose monthly summarized data. Then go to the variable drop down menu and choose minimum temperature. Daily minimum is fine, and then hit go. Once this chart shows up, the data set that you're interested in is right at the bottom here. And you'll notice that it has extreme minimum temperatures and the respective year that it occurred. The next step is to bring your sheet up and then enter your data into the appropriate cells in this row. Once these numbers have been placed into the cells, entering the extreme minimum data is now complete and you can move on to the next step. If you're looking to design your own passive solar greenhouse and want help in choosing our value for your walls, a glazing material, the amount of heat or size of heater required to heat the greenhouse, your lighting system, thermal mass calculation, as well as designing a subterranean heating and cooling system, you will find that this tool makes passive solar greenhouse design infinitely easier. These videos will show you how to use the tool and if you're interested in purchasing the tool for your own passive solar greenhouse design, you can find information on how to purchase the tool at Small Farm Academy in the link below.